What do you think about? I don't know. Little things. Dumb things. Nothing. They're nothing. Tell me. Waiting in a queue. I mean, how do you know when the line moves without reaching out, touching the back of the person in front? I told you, just dumb stuff. What else? Uh, Waiting for a bus. There's no possible way I can know what bus is approaching to flag it down. What else? Catching a ball without someone having to say, here it comes. Not seeing signs that say, like, don't go here or you'll die. Just dying in general, really. Stepping into a hole, off a cliff. Not that I'm near cliffs regularly. You see, I said it was dumb. Stepping into traffic, that's more likely. Stepping on my kid's Lego. I didn't know you had kids. I don't. But one day, maybe. So your fears are future fears, not just for now. Some of them. Tell me those ones. Tom? Tom. Seeing is believing. It's an old adage, but it rings true for most of us. We make sense of our world by what we see, by what is real and tangible before us. But what happens if we lose our sight? How do we translate our known experience into something intangible? And how would you prepare for this new life? And how would you enter into a relationship with somebody if you knew that one day you would completely lose your sight? Well, this is the story of Field of Vision, a new Australian play which follows the relationship between Tom and Nina and their shared experience of vision loss. Field of Vision is a disorientating and sensory experience for an audience because we're actually going to mimic Tom's progressive sight loss through light and lack of light and through sound design. And as Tom's experience becomes more abstract, so will the language and the tone of the play. We have a great team. Joanna Erskine is our amazing, talented, intelligent playwright. And Eloise Snape (laughs) and Stephen Multari are playing Tom and Nina and we have the amazing Anthony Skews directing. It's going to be a bold experiment and it will be pretty spectacular in the intimacy of the old fits. Because... Although eyes are a prerequisite for vision, sight actually takes place in the brain and field of vision shows us that we don't need our eyes to see the world.